Today you guys are going to learn a dotcom nerving style effect. This is the face tracking radio blur effect. Dotcom uses this in a ton of his videos and it's a really dope effect. So yeah, I just wanted to hop in After Effects and show you guys how to create this effect for yourself. Hopping straight into After Effects, I've got this clip from Yeet's poppin' music video and it's just a little clip of everyone with the turbos in the back. So we're going to click on our clip and we're going to go to the tracker tab and we're going to stabilize the motion. We're going to get this little track point. With this track point, I like to move it on the subject's nose and then box out their face so it will track their face. Once you've got their face kind of boxed in, we're just gonna hit the play button and it's going to automatically track their face. All right, so my tracker's gone ahead and tracked the face the whole way through. I'm going to click apply and apply dimensions X and Y. And now if we play that back, we can see that it's completely tracked his face. Our effects and presets and grab motion tile from our effects. Drag motion tile on. We are gonna mirror the edges, increase our output height and our output width to around 200. And as you can see, it just kind of makes it so that we can't see those edges anymore. So the next effect we're gonna grab is transform. We're gonna drag that onto our clip. Go to the transform tab and we're gonna add a little bit of zoom because Dotcom Nervin is always using these zooms with the face track. Gonna line up each face in the middle of the clip with our position. So now that each in the middle of the clip, I'm going to keyframe the scale at the very beginning. Go to the very end of the clip and I'm gonna zoom it in probably to about here, 138. So as you can see, it is now zooming in. I'm gonna control D, duplicate this layer. Double click on this top layer and we're going to get a rotor brush of our subject. So I'm going to get the rotor brush tool and mask out our subject. And once you get your first frame good, you're just going to page down and go all the way through. Now that our subject has been masked out all the way through, I'm going to freeze it. With the rotor brush not frozen, we have a layer of just the subject and we have the background layer. I'm going to go to our background layer and I'm going to pre-compose it. Move all attributes into new composition, hit OK. I'm going to add radio blur to our background layer. I'm going to keyframe the amount. So I've got starting at 7 here, then going to 0, then going to 10. Then going to zero, then going to five, and the final radio blur effect looks like this. So this is the final dotcom nervin effect right here with the radio blur and the face track. But dotcom nervin likes to add a bunch of trippy effects, so I think I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to go ahead and add an adjustment layer. So new adjustment layer. I'm going to put this in between the rotor brush and the background. On this adjustment layer, I'm going to go ahead and drag a liquid preset that we made in a previous video. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to learn how to make cool liquid transition effects like the one I just dragged on, click right here. I think you'll enjoy it. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one later.